Hey guys, it's Banana Lego coming to my first stick insect video. So, hope you guys enjoy. So, let's get into it. So, right now, I just have a stick insect crawling on me. And stick insects, a really interesting fact about them is that their bones are on the outside and their skin is on the inside. That's why if they fall from a, like this high and then fall down this low, they'll definitely survive. As you can see, we have a very small one. I have a lot of them in this tank behind the camera and some really big ones. This one's sort of going up my hand. Another fact, when they're standing still, it actually kind of looks like they're dancing. See, he's like bouncing like around. But that's just them not knowing you and they're just a little bit scared and they're dancing. It's a really funny thing when I first found it. And something really interesting about big stick insects is that big stick insects, they develop wings and they can fly. Yeah, stick insects can fly. Very weird. And the older the stick insects get, the worse the eyesight gets. So they use these antennas to see if there's anything that they can walk on in front of them. It somehow helps them sense if there's any anything that, that they can safely walk on. And he's standing still on the side of my hand, which is kind of uncomfortable. I'm sure he wants to try to go back to his friends. And look, he's upside down on my hand. Yeah, they have little hooks on their feet that don't, they don't hurt to help them grip onto your skin. And that way, woo, he's upside down. They can go upside down. Now, he's very scared right now because he's on the edge of my finger. He doesn't know where to go next, so I'm gonna give him a platform. So he's gonna go to my other hand now. Look, wee! Here, yeah, meet Master Yoda. He's trying to climb onto it. That's not a climbable thing. Now, I'm curving my fingers so he can just wrap around from going from here, and then he's just going to climb up to here. Stick insects, most, like, bugs have eight legs, but stick insects only have six legs. And sadly, this one lost a leg. But they can grow back their legs, so it's not too dramatic. It's very sad because he is a young one and we have like 20 more of them in the stick, in the little pen that they have. So stick insects, you have to spray water in their cage every day once. And you have to get them new gum tree leaves or koalas eat every three days. They tend to last more than three days we tend to get them every week or two because they last a while and they can actually go for days without food and they can go weeks without water because they don't waste any energy trying to breathe they don't like they stand still a lot but while they're on while they're very nervous they will continuously walk and when they're trying to eat, they'll walk around to find the best spot of the leaf to eat. Now, a cool thing about the stick insects when we first discovered that they can fly, so we were just playing with one of the big ones, and then all of a sudden he reaches like the edge of my of my my sister's fingers, and then he f just flies off to the roof. But he flies onto the wall, so my mum got him. Now this one is about a month old. Some of them are even just a week old. Now they grow very quickly. Uh, we got like the big ones in our tank. They used to be like 
pretty much just a little bit bigger than this size and in two and in one and a half months they got way bigger than they did now as i said in my other video with my star wars characters he's gonna crawl up my arms and i'm gonna let him crawl all the way up my arm he's still going he's trying to flip like he's trying to go. I'm gonna make him go to the other arm before he gets somewhere I don't want him to go. Can you move, please? He's very annoying when he doesn't move when I really need him to move. So I'm, I'm gonna let you go to my thumb, bro. Go to my thumb. And he doesn't want my thumb. Well, as you can see, he's like on the edge of my fingers trying to get to my thumb now they can stretch their legs really far so don't be very scared for them oh he just got a little scared because my this finger touched his butt now that's how you tell if they are alive because whenever you touch their butt they kind of jump so if you touch one of them that don't look like they're alive and they they jump that means they're still alive. And right now he's climbing over my watch. Happily. I think he found a new spot. Um, he's climbing up my arm. It looks really funny from the angle you're watching because you can see his butt stick up. <laughs> Look at him. He's dancing. Yeah. He's twerking to you guys. Twerk bro. He stopped dancing. He found a spot that he's like... I, this is a good spot. He's dancing again. Yeah. Probably because my arm stays still and he's like, my turn to stay still. We take turns. And he's growing around. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next vid.